Today's math strategy video is subtract to compare in word problems. Let's look at our first example. This is Josie cat, Josie's cat has had nine kittens. She gives away four to her neighbors. How many kittens does she have left? Well, here I have a tape diagram. It can also be a part, part, whole model too. This one just uses counters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count these to make sure that I know what these represent. So I'm gonna count all of my reds first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has to represent the nine kittens that Josie's cat had. Now I'm gonna count these blue ones. One, two, three, four. This has to represent the four that she gave away. And when this says gives away, this tells me that I'm probably going to subtract. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna mark these out and do like one-to-one -one correspondence here. So if I mark this one out, I'll mark the blue one out. This next red out, the next blue out. And so on till I run out. Now I know that this is what I have left, but this is kind of hard to count because it starts at five. So I'm just gonna draw these and I'm gonna match them up. That way I'll know exactly what I have left. Now I can count them. One, two, three, four, five. This means that Josie must still have five of the kittens. I can represent this down here in a part, part, whole num number, in a part, part, whole diagram with numbers. I'm gonna put my nine, because this was my whole, is what I started with. Then this would be where I put my four that she gave away and the five that she still has. I can represent this as a subtraction sentence. Nine minus four equals five. Let's look at another example. This one says, there are seven small balloons. There are 10 large balloons. How many more large balloons are there? So I have seven small and 10 large. Okay, well this problem is a little tricky because the model here doesn't give me a whole. It actually only gives me these down here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count these to find out what these purple ones represent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since there's seven of these, they must represent the small balloons. That means I need to represent the 10 large balloons. Now, since this asks how many more large balloons are there, I'm probably gonna subtract. So I think I'm gonna need to put all of the 10 large balloons up here. Let's count them and make sure. Maybe I can even color these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these out as they match these down here because these, is, these are not gonna tell me how many more she has. So I'm gonna mark them out. These are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna subtract away. Now this is gonna tell me how many more of those large balloons these are the large balloons. So it's going to tell me how many of the how many more of these she had. 
one, two, one, two, three. There are three more large balloons than there are the small balloons. I can represent this in a part part home model. There's my 10 large ones, the seven small, and the difference is three. So 10 minus seven equals three. This is the end of today's strategy video.